Hello, Pisces. It looks like you're finally admitting just how much this connection meant to you after it's disconnected. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello everyone, welcome in. This is a Pisces tarot reading. It's a general reading, usually between two energies. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. Time for a quantum leap number seven. This is the first time this has come out this week. Prepare for a makeover. And you're in great company. Number 16 also reduces to a seven. Pull back to propel forward. Mm -hmm. So if you, okay, got it. Um, if you feel like you've had a setback in your purpose or even your job career, um, that's, that's not going to last very long. Um, Or if someone is job searching, you're going to find the right company. You're going to find the right company. This is applying to um, to app dating for someone, too. I don't know why specifically app dating. You're going to be so relieved when you land where you're, where you're destined to go. In this time of stagnancy, it, you're just going to forget all about it. Okay. Not bad. Show me what's going on with Pisces, please. Show me what's going on with Pisces. Show me what's going on with Pisces, please. Show me what's going on with Pisces. Queen of coins there underneath. Page of cups. Six of wands, eight of cups. Hierophant card of Taurus. Temperance card of Sag. Eight of coins. Queen of swords. You want to get back with somebody. You want to get back with somebody. Hmm, I'm going to read this that is you. This is the person you're connecting with. This is the situation. So these are love messages here. But it's very much from you. Do you see how she's tipping her hat toward the other side? And the other side is trying to Mary Poppins it on out of there. <laughs> I think I think the whole world knows Mary Poppins by now. <laughs> There's been plenty of time. Plenty of time. Hmm. interesting about because it almost looks like this hierophant is looking at the looking at a recipe book okay well this one is cooking <laughs> okay um like there's something that had to be come up with that had to that you had to come up with before you could message them they've been away from you for some time they exited Got it. They physically exited. You could have you could have mentally, emotionally checked out of this. I don't feel if this was an official breaks up breakup or if it was something that never got to get started. Okay. Because it, it does feel like it grew to a point. Was this the thing that was stagnant? Could be. It feels like it wasn't, like, chosen wholeheartedly. I mean, you, you can tell by the look on this Queen of Swords face. It's like, she's not entirely thrilled about this. <laughs> she's not entirely thrilled about it. But she's been gone for a bit, for some time. She's been gone for some time. You miss her company. 
Ah! Friend or third party, or both? Choosing on whether you should balance up with this person or not. It looks like it is something that you definitely want because the messages are flying. I don't know if she's responding. We could find out. Okay, we could we could we could find out. Okay. Stagnancy in a connection that has been disconnected. Well, that wasn't chosen fully, fully wholeheartedly. Okay. And then disconnected. Let's get into these messages that are flying back. Show me. Ah, ten of cups. We're starting. We're starting high, huh? <laughs> King of Wands, card of Leo, Ace of Wands. Hey, I have an idea. <laughs> the Moon card of Pisces, Queen of Wands, the World fixed energy. So that is Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio energy. Hey, remember what good times we had? <laughs> it's it's kind of it's that um generalization of uh the masculine only remembers the good times the feminine only remembers the bad times after breakup or disconnect um because you you seem to come in with all of this hey remember i don't understand where you went or what happened really you gotta go there but you but you know though or are you saying that to just get her to respond or react so she does respond? Oh, you're saying it for her to react. Got it. Got it. What is what does Pisces think he's gonna get in return from her? The warm and the fuzzies. After ah, okay. After her leaving, you th you think it's going to be hunky dory, rainbows and unicorns. Okay. I mean, both those things technically exist, which is a conversation for another time, or at least the unicorns part, right? Um, so you're, you're going to try to be like, oh, it's been so long, we could talk like nothing ever happened, and hey, what's going on? Really? <laughs> okay, all right, let, let's, let, let's, let's see how that works for you. Show me the six of wands for Pisces, please. The full ten of coins. Three of coins. Did you finish another connection? Did you get out of something else? It looks like you're starting over, starting fresh. All open to taking risks now. Your energy is totally freed up. Okay. No wonder. Show me the Hierophant, please. Show me the Hierophant, please. Four of Cups, Ace of Coins. Hmm. Disappointed that you didn't give yourself the op take advantage of the divine opportunity to make this real. So it didn't get to get off the ground. It didn't get to get off the ground. Show me the Eight of Coins. For Pisces, please. Four of Coins. Three of Cups. Is it, a, is it a friend or third party? Is it is it friend or third party? Or just general reconnection? I don't know. Really? Come on. <laughs> you don't want to say. But there's a two of cups here and the lovers. There's your answer. <laughs> there's your answer. It's like, I don't want to say what it is, but I want it back, though. Come on. Come on. Come on. Really? Really? Okay, so you see seizing this divine opportunity to do what this time around? What's changed? What's that there's the question, what's changed? Ah, someone's brave enough to fall in love. After unloading, um, ooh, they moved out and everything. Um, after unloading a burdensome connection, could have been with it. Could be it could be a now ex spouse. 
Um, they were with someone who would use their cup to manipulate this masculine. Um, interesting. So now, now they have the courage to love. So they say, so they say, okay. All right. But if of the doubt, let's see what's going on with this person. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, eight of cups for this person. Emperor, card of Aries. Oh, oh, good girl. Good feminine. Yes. Good job. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you made the executive decision to get the out of here okay because now you see your perspective of the situation has changed because nothing would happen nothing would change so your perspective finally did and you see the situation clearly and it's time to vacate right so so you did aquarius energy right there for those who are keeping track with that aries emperor show me temperance so i'm getting i'm getting patience with this card I'm personally not a fan of patience. If you've if you've watched my extendeds and that card has ever come up, you know this already. <laughs> um, but something about this is saying patience. Yeah. Wearing thin though. <laughs> Nine of Wands. Alchemist. Wanderer. So you don't know if you can take a risk on something that hurt you. There, there's there's resistance on this idea, which is, is understandable. It's totally understandable, right? Why would you take why why would you give any more time to someone who just screws you over royally in the heart space, right? Hmm. Because this is the resistance and the going back and forth on, but but look what happened though. Or look what didn't happen, though. Okay. Show me the Queen of Swords. Show me the Queen of Swords. Oh. Three of Cups in the same row. Okay. She's seeing this as more of an opportunity, uh, Justice Card of Libra, as an opportunity to, once and for all, balance balance up with you okay does she have any further intention she's getting at her money she's getting at her money um she's okay got it got it got it um she could have an earth or water sign or even a young fire sign Kind of going after her. This looks like she's actually um, worrying about her physical world and resources and things like that. But as it's been kind of a slow and steady progression towards her accumulating her pentacles in the way that she wants and feels comfortable, she's actually opening up more and more to the idea of relationship or someone new. Okay. Um, but it looks like she's approaching reconnection with you for the sake of um, repair. Repair and resolve. Okay. I don't know what else could happen. We're going to have to go into her reading here. But um, you know you're not just friends. You were never just friends. You know it was a lover's two of cups. You know it was a lover's two of cups. Okay. Yes, I understand you've made a lot of discoveries. <laughs> I understand. Is there any more questions here? Can you show me what was what else was under the moon here with this Queen of Wands? Hmm. Okay. Star underneath card of Aquarius. Uh, strength Leo energy for those keeping track. Um. So the one thing that's really frustrated for the feminine here is that he has no idea the struggle that she went through to stay in this to decide to leave, to make the plan to leave, to execute the plan to leave. All of that struggle, that interior, that internal struggle, mentally, emotionally, the heart space, the mind, 
of wanting to stay because no understanding what the connection is lovers two of cups understanding fully what it is getting no opportunity to obtain it whatsoever so challenging to tear away and detach from something like that when it's the thing that we're all looking for so you'd have to pry it from our cold dead finger especially feminine with her intuition spot on which she does so the unseen struggle is what she's pissed off about because you have no idea. Which is why there's the general discontent on this temperous Queen of Swords face. Like, cause you're like, hey, let's 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 chat it up and get reacquainted and stuff, because I remember all the good times and stuff like that in order to get your foot in the door or get a reaction from her so you could gauge whether she still cares about you or not. When really it has gone completely lost on the masculine here of the struggle she actually went through to stay in the situation, decide to leave, detach, then exit. That was hard. That was hard. Oh, I mean, someone's saying it, it was soul crushing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you have your heart torn out of your chest by a soul bond, shit hurts. Do you learn a lot? Yeah. It was it worth it? Probably not. <laughs> Honestly, probably not. So I'm gonna head over to the extended. I'm gonna see what's going on with this person and her current energy, her near future, and the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So if you're interested in any of that information, along with messages from spirit about the connection at this point in time messages between you as well as timing feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below and i'll see you guys over there bye Ooh.